So welcome ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to wish you all a merry, merry Christmas for today. That's right, it is Christmas Day, it is here in the US of A anyway, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to do this video kind of as well mix in an end of year review uh, for Pez, kind of how has it gone this year? Is it the best Pez ever? Just give you my thoughts about, uh, you know, the kind of the situation we've had, because we've had some ups and we've had some downs, you know what I mean? It, it's all been there. Um, as well as, as I said, thank you guys. I wanted to put out a thank you for continually watching my content, for continually liking, disliking even, commenting, good, bad. It doesn't matter what you guys do. As long as you're interacting, I always appreciate any kind of views. Uh, and, and I really think at the end of the day, without you guys watching, you know, what am I, what am I going to do? Doing a video for, for myself, you know, it's... I know everyone starts somewhere and that's the main thing, but at the end of the day, I do these videos to hopefully make it more enjoyable for you guys. So I wanted to say a big thank you from the bottom of my heart um, for, for continually watching my content. And uh, look, if you want to start YouTube, if you're thinking about starting it as well, you know, give it a shot. Do something that you enjoy, something you're passionate about. Um, that which kind of brings me on to a little point the other day where I had a comment from someone and you know I'm not having a go or anything but you know he was saying about he's been watching me for a while since like 13 14 and this will be the last year he watches me because I'm always doing Manchester United why am I not doing like another team but that's the thing look I I know that I put these videos out for you guys right but I have to do something that I enjoy if I don't enjoy creating content it's become a, it's it's gonna become stale. You're gonna you're gonna hear it in my voice. You're gonna hear me not. You know what I mean? That's kind of why I stopped FIFA. Ultimately, I wasn't enjoying it. It was all right at the beginning because I hadn't played FIFA for a while. But you know, after a couple of games, it just I was back to the oh, it's the same old FIFA, the same old story, the gameplay. Look, off off the pitch, FIFA's great. It's great. A lot of content. On the pitch is where I just think, fundamentally, there's a lot of problems. It's just not... For me, personally, it's not enjoyable. You know, and that's not to say it's not enjoyable for other people. Everyone's got an opinion. That's the world. Everyone has an opinion. But I don't like really FIFA that much. I've tried it. I failed. So I've stuck to Pez. And it's kind of why I always seem to go back to Manchester United. Because deep down, look, they're my team. I love Manchester United to bits. I know their history. I know the players inside out. I watch them every every single week, pretty much. That's why I do them. Um, now, next year, not to say I won't do something different because I'm having a bit of a, you know, a bit of an argument with myself um, as to what I want to do. I'm thinking maybe I do want to start with a lower side and try and work my way up uh, as opposed to starting with a Premier League team. I think there just might be more more of a challenge obviously um but more satisfaction to go ahead and do that try and pick up some young gems and work them through the ranks you know and work through the system and the different divisions so we'll see um you know i did start with arsenal this year i mean people said they wanted to see arsenal but then no one really watched it you know but <laughs> that's the way youtube works that's the way the world works so that's kind of why i always pick manchester united deep down there they are my team and if you don't do something you don't enjoy, you won't enjoy doing it. I mean, as simple as that sounds, and stupid as it sounds, it's the truth. Um, so that's kind of what's happened there. I've gone for Manchester United because I enjoy playing with them. But next year, it may change. I may pick a lower opposition and try and work my way through the ranks. So, that is that out the way. Merry Christmas to you all, and uh, I hope you guys do have a fantastic day and get all the presents you want. I'm actually not... You know what? This year... Not really wanting anything too much. Now, I did get a new computer, for those that, that are wondering. It's it's pretty beastly, to be honest. I, I put Forza 4 on yesterday, and I maxed the game completely out. I was putting on Extreme Ultra just to test it, and it was running smooth as butter. So, that's great. Um, I've also got 144 hertz monitors coming today. Um, so, once we get those set up, that'll be nice. But unfortunately, because I've taken my SSD out of my laptop, I put it in my computer now. Um, my laptop, because I put the old SSD in, doesn't have PEZ on it. 
So I can't do any gameplay right now because I'm waiting for the monitors because these ones don't have a display port. Oh, it's all complicated. It's all complicated. But anyway, we'll be back this week with the gameplay. That's the thing. The Christmas holidays, they mess everything up in the sense of YouTube because, you know, I'm going away for some to family tonight. Um, you know, tomorrow I'm going to be around my parents all day. I'm not going to be recording anything tomorrow. And I'm, I'm sure people aren't even going to be really watching that much on, on Christmas Day. You're going to be with your family, with your friends. Uh, but we will be back at the end of the week. So... There we go. Anyway, let's talk about Pez, right? Let's talk about this end of year review. Uh, ultimately, how has Pez been this year? Well, I mean, it, look, it started off a right shambles, didn't it? I mean, the Master League didn't really get going at all. We had a lot of problems. Teams had the wrong players in, and they were being transferred out left, right, and center. Some had bought like five goalies and one defender in the whole team. It was a nightmare. Um, probably the worst Master League start that Konami have had, which is a real shame. Because the gameplay was still enjoyable. Well, you know, it had problems too. We'll get to that. But, you know, to have such issues in Master League, and that was the problem this year for me. I had to wait so long to get my Master League going. You know, I kind of lost interest by the time I started. I mean, I got back into it, of course. But I think, you know, next year, Konami, please, please, test the game out religiously before you release it if that means you have to put out a beta you know an offline master league beta test then do it you know give the game to a handful of people i will be very happy i'll hold my hand up and say yes i will do it if you guys want to give me a copy of the game early and test out master league i'll go ahead and do that no problem so please get that right and uh, that would have been a much better start than we had. So Master League had a lot of issues to get going. You know, and then, then on top of that, we got into the gameplay. And as we know, um, you know, the low cross bug was in there, wasn't it? Every single goal that AI scored was pretty much a low cross scored um, into the back of the net. Nine times out of ten. Ten times out of ten didn't become fun. Uh, we know we had the goalie issue of the goalies not coming off the line at all i mean they would just stand there when you're running at them and you can just tap it in not good um so that was two uh the ai not having long shots as well was a, another issue that we saw i mean these are just you know they're little things that you think they wouldn't be a problem in the game and i think we all played a little bit of the demo and we didn't see this as much and it's like they try and improve the game for the final product you know it's going gold they're polishing it up and then all these other problems come through. And then they release it and everyone's angry and everyone's annoyed. And it's not good for Konami because, look, at the end of the day, these reviews come out. People slag the game off. You know, one little word, bad word from someone and it's like, oh, I don't want to get this. I'm going to go and get FIFA instead, you know. And look, don't get me wrong. FIFA, I, some of the bugs that I've seen on FIFA, <laughs> absolutely hilarious. I mean... I've seen players literally flying through the sky, balls, physics, where the ball's rolling in one way and then it spins out the other way. I don't under... I think FIFA's such a complex coding, coded game, something, I don't know. It just... or they don't know how to code properly. These bugs that you see are just laughable. I mean, absolutely laughable. And, and Pez doesn't have them. Pez, that's one thing with Pez. You won't see these, like, um, you'll see clipping. Yes, there's clipping. But you won't see players, like, going through each other and then another player flies off into the sky or the ball magically somehow ricochets this way and then bounces. You know, you don't see that in Pez. I feel like it's a better coded game, but because FIFA is such a big game, they have more issues. So, you know, you, you really can't say that FIFA hasn't had issues because from what I've seen this year... Yeah, there's been some problems. Anyway, back to Pez. So we had Master League, we had the gameplay problems, that, you know, issues, and then there was online and people complaining. But then, you know, they started to release the patches, the data, the data packs, and the gameplay's got better, hasn't it? I, I have to say, I'm enjoying the game. I, I do enjoy Pez. I mean, I wouldn't put out, you know, as many videos as I do if I didn't. So for me this year, I think once they had fixed the problems that they had, uh, it certainly was one of the more enjoyable games that we've seen, you know, over the last, you know, or this, this generation, should we say. Now, I do play on PC, and I'm always going to have that extra bonus of being able to tweak the gameplay and the cameras and getting all the graphics and overlays and faces. You know, you can get everything under the sun. 
to be honest. So yeah, I do have that advantage. But if you're looking at it from the perspective of a, of a general consumer who doesn't have the mods, it's starting off poor, you know, and it has improved. Now, there are still things that need to be fixed. I still think, you know, the refereeing is a little bit suspect. You know, we've got some really dodgy decisions going on. One minute the ref gives a foul, and then he doesn't give a foul. And it's like, I don't know, mate, maybe Konami work on a little bit of refereeing coding this year? Um... Because I'm not very impressed by it, to be honest. It's a little bit annoying. Uh, what else do we have? I mean, the commentary, I didn't really listen to it this year. But I'm pretty sure it was the same as last year. What, what can they really do now for commentary, though? Because, you know, I mean, look, this is what people say. They say, oh, why don't I be the commentator in this, that, and the other? But at the end of the day, you're reading off a script. You know, you have a script in front of you and you read it. And after a while, that becomes repetitive. And you guys will be sick of hearing me say the same lines. The same lines, you know. Like you've got, what's them saying? Neymar, Neymar, Neymar. You know, you hear that stuff over and over again. After a while, it's like, well, what is he on? So that's the problem. I don't think Konami's script is long enough. They need thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of lines of dialogue, uh, dialogue to actually make it sort of more engaging, but they could do other things, you know, they could talk about previous matches or different players, top scorers in the league, how we played in the last match. There are a lot of things Konami could do that they don't. Um, I know commentary isn't, you know, a massive bonus, but it's still nice to have that luxury of, of having different commentators and new lines and, you know, it adds a little bit extra uh, to your matchup. So I think, you know, yeah, they have to improve the referees. The commentators have got to be improved. Uh, we do need to see a more refined selection of game modes now as well. You know, it's got to that point where it's become stale. I mean, it has. Master League has become stale for me. Become a Legend is non-existent. I mean, honestly, get rid of Become a Legend now and introduce something new, exciting and fresh. Go for it. You know, just, just go for it, Konami, next year. We'll see. I mean, it's all going to be, you know, talk and talk and talk till we actually get to see PES 2020. PES 2020 next year. Sorry, I've still got... My, I, st I feel like I want to cough. But I don't want to do it in the mic. So, I'm trying to hold it in. Alright, here we go. So, um, yeah, next year, 2020, we'll see with the news and, and all the latest stuff that's going on. Um, what exactly happens for the new installment. But, I think overall... Pets 2018, once the niggles have been fixed, I do think it's the best we've seen, you know, this generation. Certainly graphically, it looks fantastic, the lighting's great, the stadiums look good. Um, there were just those problems of the AI playing too similar, all the same, every single time. Which is, you know, no diversity at all when you're playing these different teams. I also actually feel like player ID has taken a little bit of a step back. It'll be nice to get that coming back into the mix next year. Focus on individuality of players. Because sometimes now it's like, you know, a lot of these big players, they seem the same. Which is a shame because pairs always used to have that um, as just sort of the norm for them. Player ID was massive. Pez was one of those games where every player felt different. Stats actually meant something. Whereas for me on FIFA, it's like as long as you can run fast, that's it. You're in on goal. You don't really need to worry about all the other stats. But... We'll see, we'll see. Time will tell. You know, PES 2020 is not too far away, technically, now, is it? I mean, you know, next year, six months down the road, and we'll be looking at, well, possibly playing it. So, yeah. And also, one thing, release date. I mean, do you guys feel this year, were they smart putting it out when they did? But, you know, before September had even hit. I think Konami really should have waited another three, four weeks. You know, they put it out. Maybe even two, three weeks, you know, middle of September or around the 2021st. I think they kind of rushed it and that caused a lot of problems this year that kind of affected, you know, the way that people picked up the game. Reviews weren't the best on Steam. I mean, they never are. You know, if there's a problem with it, bam, you get like a 1 1 1 and then you've got like an average of a 5 out of 10 and people don't want to buy the game. So I think Konami just got to look back on the year, analyze the situation, see what they could have done better and go from there next year but gameplay wise it has been enjoyable for me i mean i've enjoyed it you guys have seen some of the games i've had they've been pretty interesting and intense but i do have a modded version which always gives you that luxury of tweaking it as much as you want so um i think that's about it ladies and gentlemen i do apologize i've got no gameplay but i i wanted at least wish you all merry christmas on christmas day um 
Now, I've got the green screen behind me, just to clarify whether this works or not, I don't know. The lighting for the green screen, God, I didn't understand how hard it is to get, like, 100% pure lighting on a green screen for it to actually work. So, if you guys see something behind me, like a snowy village, then it's worked, or something snowy. If you just see a green screen, then it hasn't worked, so, we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys do have a fantastic Christmas a happy new year as well, although I'll speak to you before that. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to thank every single one of you for watching my videos, for the continued support. And next year is going to be bigger and better. I mean, obviously, like, I got the chance to get a Pez League this year, so I, I really am really, truly grateful for that. It was such a great experience, and I do hope to be back, hopefully, next year. We'll see how that pans out. Um, but yeah, just look, guys, at the end of the day, do what you can. You know, a little bit of a motivational speech here from myself. If you're feeling down, if, if you're feeling like, you know, it's all going wrong for you, we've all been there. You know, at the end of the day, we have. Trust me, I've been there. My wife has been there. We've been through a lot. But at the end of the day, you've got family, you've got friends, you know. Enjoy life. Just try to enjoy it. And I always tell my dad this because my dad gets annoyed about <laughs> silly, silly things. But you know, don't worry about the little things, you know. The, at the end of the day, there's always someone worse off than you. And there's always someone better off than you. I mean, no one ever has the best day every single day of the week. You know, you're always going to have your ups and your downs. But it's how you kind of motivate yourself to do stuff. I'm quite a big procrastinator. I, I, I admit I am. And there's times where I, I don't want to do videos, you know. But I know you guys enjoy watching them. So I stick through it and I get them done. And then afterwards, okay, I feel a bit better. A bit of satisfaction that I've completed it. And, you know, completed it, mate. Completed it, mate. Jay from the Inbetweeners, if you guys have seen him. Um, so, yeah, just stick with it. Enjoy enjoy next year. You know, I'm not getting any younger now. I'm 30. You know, we're 31 next year. Into my 30s now. The days go by like that. They're so quick as opposed to when I was just a wee nipper. And um, when the days used to go by so slow. So... You just got to try and cherish what you have. Um, set yourself a goal and go for it. You know, and if you make a mistake, who cares? Don't worry about what other people think. You know, life is life. You just do what you can. But anyway, there's my complete rambly speech. But yeah, just enjoy yourself, guys. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your family, friends, Christmas Day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please do hit that like button, subscribe for more. And uh, I think the new year is going to be good. We are going to get probably Master League wrapped up. And then it's going to be a case of where do we want to go? Do we want to stay at Man United or do we want to start fresh? I don't know. There's a lot of decisions to be made about that. So let me know your thoughts below. But until next time, see you guys on the next one. Merry Christmas and take care.